Welcome to Twin Cherry Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use a controller with Dolphin Android to play GameCube games. If you want to know how to set up and install Dolphin on Android, check the links in the description for all my Android emulation tutorials. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Razer Kishi controller, but this also works with a PS4, PS5 and any Xbox controller. Now the GameCube controller is the easiest to set up on Dolphin because it is simply a controller. It has no motion gimmicks and the buttons are mapped to the same every time. There are a few personal choices you can make depending on the game and I'll get into those as we go on. Now before we begin, I hate doing this kind of thing so I'll be quick but 99% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel and I understand why. You get the information you need and you don't need me again. So I'm not going to ask you to subscribe although it will help but I am going to ask you to hit the like button if you find the information useful. Sorry to be that guy. Let's get back to the tutorial. So let's take a look at how to set up a controller for GameCube games, which is the simplest controller you can set up on Dolphin because there's no motion controls, there's no gimmicks, there's no nunchucks, there's nothing like that to deal with. It really is as simple. The GameCube controller will always stay the same. Now I'm going to be using a Razer Kishi, but this can work for an Xbox controller or a PlayStation 4 controller or even a PlayStation 5 controller. So what we do is we click the settings cog in the top right corner and then we click GameCube Input, and this will bring up four controller port options, meaning that you can have up to four controllers emulated at one time, which is great if you want to play multiplayer games, but I doubt you'll want to play them on a phone anyway. But if you've got a big tablet, maybe that's something that you want to do, or you've got one of those Android game boxes. So I'm gonna click GameCube Controller 1, and then we're gonna click Emulate It, because we're gonna to want to put our controller into controller port 1. So here we have all our buttons, A, B, X, Y, Z, and start. And we have the control stick, the C stick, the D-pad, and rumble. You can see it's really easy and simple process. So we're gonna start with, we press the button we want to bind. So we're gonna do A, bind that to A, and then B, X, Y. And then for Z, I usually use the RB button or R1 as it's called on the Razer Kishi and the PlayStation 2 and start. Let's get that to start. The control stick is the left analog stick. Up, down, down, left, right. And then the C stick. Up, down, left, right. And then the back triggers. I have a two back triggers here. And what's great about the Android version is that it automatically has the analog triggers pre-programmed in so you don't have to mess around with anything like that, like you do on the PC version. And then the classic D-pad, up, down on the D-pad, left, right. And then we just press back, back, back. And now you're ready to go to play GameCube games on your Android phone using your controller. Now, when you launch the game, you're going to see these controls, the touchscreen controls are still on the screen. To get rid of them, you press the back button again to bring up this menu, then press overlay controls. And when it says toggle controls, press that and click toggle all, and all the controls will disappear. And now as you can see, you've got pretty much a PSP setup. And this is one of the reasons why I like the Razer Kishi is because... It basically means I can hold it like it is a PSP or a PS Vita or Nintendo Switch or something like that. With games like Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, you can see in the top right corner here, they have the buttons on the screen. And sometimes my brain works in a way that like X is on the right side. So I'll press B for X and I'll press X for B or something like that. And you want to change it specifically just for this game so that the X button is on this side. And I'll show you how to do that now. It's just a little thing that I do. So I'm going to exit the emulation. I'm going to hold down on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, click Edit Game Settings, go to GameCube Input, click Controller 1, Emulated, and then I'll just make my own specific one for that. So A is A, B is X, X is B, and Y is Y, and the rest I'll set up as normal. So this way, when I'm playing the game, and I see in the top right corner that there is an item on this side, I will play it on this side. So that's just something you can do if you want to make specific controller setups for specific games. You know, that is set up for Legend of Zelda Twilight Sword. Let's say you want to play a Nintendo Wii game with a GameCube controller, because some Nintendo Wii games do allow you the use of GameCube controllers like Kirby's Epic Yarn and Mario Kart Wii. So let's 
open Mario Kart Wii. And then we'll press the back button to bring up this lovely menu here. And then we'll go to overlay controls, click choose controller, and we will choose the GameCube controller and click OK. And now we can play the game as if we are playing it on a GameCube controller, which is fantastic. That's it for this video, and if you found this information useful, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help my channel grow. If you want to know how to set up your controller to play Nintendo Wii games for more advanced features like motion and other extensions like that, then check out the links in the description down below. And if there's anything you want to know about Dolphin or Dolphin on Android, leave a comment down below, and I'll see if I can get around to making a video on it. As always, don't do anything I want to do. Have a fantastic day. I hope this video found you well. Take care now.